Welcome back to the channel guys uh, Obviously this corona virus is uh, pretty much shut the country down to a degree but, and uh, most men like myself have decided to opt for the corona cut is what I like to refer it as don't know if I like it or not well, God knows but uh, yeah just take it so uh, today I basically I bought a Fiesta like ST thing well it's not an ST I'm lying to you first says it was an ST it's a ZTEC S one litre turbo thing three cylinder one litre EcoBoost uh, <clears throat> got it back it, it was listed on Copart as a non-runner so I thought we ah, take a gamble on it. it it weren't a lot of money uh, after messing about they give me it <clears throat> so I picked it up went to put some oil in it it comes straight out the bottom of the engine which is never a good sign so opted look had a look big hole in the sump uh, thought before my accident damage we'll uh, chuck a sump on it chuck you know chuck some oil in it and uh, fingers crossed it'll be all right so yesterday i got it up on the ramp dropped the sump got the new one all cleaned and fitted up uh I've left the exhaust pipe off because these one litre EcoBoost, if anyone does anything with them, the air pump bolts to the front of a sump, which is a bit annoying to be honest. And you've got to drop all the cat converter and everything off to get to get the sump off. So I've done that, but I've left the cat converter off. The reason being I've left it off is the flexi in the cat converter is actually uh, bust. It's like ripped and knackered where where it's caught something so i'm gonna leave that off and put uh rather than instead of buying a new cat converter that's just absolutely pointless i'm gonna chop it chop the flexi out and i'm gonna weld a new flexi in the new flexi should be about seven quid or something so uh anyway first start not had this started yet all i've done i put some did the sump put some oil in it uh, battery would add 6 volt in so I don't know if one of the interior lights have been left on I put jump leads on on a little sports battery I've got that weren't having none of it so I just left it overnight on charge so let, let's uh, I'll, I'll show you the car now I do have to click up to this today and put the traction control settings in. I sat there and worked all the gear ratios out last night uh, in my trusty old workbench. Sat there looking pretty. So pretty much, guys, this is what I bought. It's, uh, you see bonnets, she's had a good hit. Uh, it's bust the top boost pipe. Uh, but look as it, you know, if you look at the crush sections, you know, perfect. If you look at the, this is actually a category S. And all the legs and everything look straight. The only reason this is a category S, because can you see the end of this chassis rail has just bent over. So it's structural, technically, even though by the time you, you bend that back out and panel beat that, the end of a chassis rail back because if you look I don't think you'll see but all the crush section everything's all perfect none of it's actually been damaged but uh but yeah you see sumps uh <clears throat> fresh sealant so that's on that's got oil in uh there is a few sensors unplugged so it is not gonna run very good there's airflow meter down there on the airbox it also has twin lambdas which are both unplugged other than that, everything's should go. So we're st it's saying we're still charging. So hopefully there'll be enough in it to start it. it will be noisy. Obviously we've got <coughs> got the turbo off now. I was worried that something may have dropped in here. So what I've done, you can get in here and can you see. But I can spin the uh, exhaust wheel on the turbo. And it all spins through here, so I'm pretty confident 
there's nothing in there. Uh, so yeah, let's give it a whirl. Other than that, guys, it's obviously damaged on this wing. It's pushed all the wing back and it's kinked the wing. The passenger wing's got away. Uh, it, like I say, it was a non-runner. I have took a bit of a gamble on it. <clears throat> but if a gamble pays off, it should be a good deal. It's a good sign we've got some electric. She's done 51 foul. Do you know what? It's got fancy little lights there. I do. I do think these are pretty smart. It's a good sign. Need to press clutch. Just let, just let a bit of oil get around. Obviously got airbag light, but that's because of the sensors unplugged. Sorry, engine management light. I'm thinking a bit curious if we've got airbag light on, but none of the airbags have gone off. I don't know what that's about. Maybe uh, I have to get that plugged in. Unless the seat the seat retractor has gone, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's something to look at. But yeah, no, I'm happy with that. Turn it off, don't want to annoy neighbours too much. Yeah, pretty happy with that, guys. Obviously, you've got one of the Copart idiots. One of putting chalk on windows. Must have been bored. Nah, I'm bored on phones to someone. It's alright, because it's only us idiots who have to spend time cleaning it off. Well, yeah, no, I'm happy with that. So hopefully it'll met one. So this will be a little short video of pretty much what I pulled out of the auction. I'm I'm happy with this. I wanted to have it running so I can start and drive it because sitting ducks in the yard are, are terrible. You've got to push them. It has knocked the skirt off there, but generally, all in all, it's a good little car. I'll show you the flexi, which is why I've not put it back on. See there, looks going all it's knackered. It, you'd never even contemplate putting that back on. So what I'm gonna do, get a, a section piece, we'll chop it here, chop it there, and I'll MIG weld it. This all this new flexi in, so yeah, but you can see that uh, one of them's gonna be expensive to buy. Uh and I'm not when a flexi will be about seven, eight quid or something. If that, so definitely wants a flexi putting in rather than a new cat. Uh, but yeah, pretty happy to be honest at that. So I think maybe I uh, can have a look at the turbo, go out for some essentials, take it shopping. So just a little short, short and sweet there, guys. I'll, I'll leave it short, I'll uh, <clears throat> put another video when I get some bits and let's get fixing it. I've still got the blue focus to finish, that's this week's job, so uh, final part of that will come. Uh, but yeah, cheers, like and subscribe, click notifications, you'll get next video. That's if you want, if you don't, well, be right, won't it? Will not cry, but uh, yeah, cheers lads, take it easy.